For Pride Month, we are profiling some of the people who've been champions for the LGBTQ community. Tonight, that's former West Sacramento Mayor Christopher Cabaldon, who shocked the country and world when he came out in the most public way during his State of the City address. He sat down with CBS 13's Marley Ginter about a decision he calls terrifying that changed lives forever. When you decided to finally take that, that leap, it was 2006. Times were so different then. Were you terrified? I, terrified is exactly the right word. Cabaldon didn't mince words when he sat down with me, talking about the speech that made national headlines and the days, nights, and years leading up to it. When you have this one secret, even if that's the only secret you have, a couple of things happen. One is it compounds into all kinds of other secrets. Um, because you're, you can't isolate one strand of your life um, and it starts to interact with everything else. And then you find that you can't get out of it because you've told all these other, you've, you've created all of this story of who you are um, that depends on this one lie. Uh, and then, but how do you unravel that without, without unraveling everything else about you too? It was a struggle Cobaldon had learned to live with and deny even to himself. I was still hoping you know, maybe one more year and I won't be gay anymore. Or maybe this will go away. If I, if I don't tell it to anybody else and I don't say it out loud to myself, maybe it'll go away. Um, but partly because there's nobody in politics or public service that is. Every time I would see somebody say, uh, uh, I'm the mayor of such and such a city and I'm gay, the very next sentence would always be, and I'm re resigning effective Tuesday. Um, it was always part of a scandal. So he denied it to himself, pretended to everyone else, and played the role of what he thought a mayor should look like. Because I was in the closet, I was always very careful to be, you know, very professional, be exactly what a mayor is supposed to be, you know, put my tie on on just on Sunday to go pick up a gallon of milk. I know I got I to gotta look, I got to look and be the part all the time. Do you think that you being a prominent figure, a community leader, do you think that made it harder or easier to come out? Both, it, it, both, right? So the, the stakes were incredibly high um, for me because it was the, um, uh, because everything in my, my, in my life and my identity and my work all depended. Um, and if it went badly, the entire, you know, the entire world was going to know. Christopher Cabaldon opening up to Marley Ginter there. And you can see more from Marley's interview with the former West Sacramento mayor. Hear the positive and negative reactions to him coming out and why he says there's still more work to be done to protect the LBGTQ community. That's in our Pride special this week, Friday at 530. Interesting account there.